welcome to Saturday School, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hopefully you can hear me. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. My name is Stas, and let's get this party started. You guys are in for an absolute treat. Absolute treat. So, all right. Woo. Super, super excited about this one. Good morning, good morning. Let's have a look who we got. We got Mar uh, Mike, sorry, not Mark. Alex, good morning. You can hear me, fantastic. Fantastic, come on. I wanna keep, Keith is in the house. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Phil, Janice, come on, come on. I wanna keep this super interactive, guys and girls. Peter from Gosport, Neville from Newmarket. Hey. Um, uh, good AM, uh, Jeff, David, Graham, Julian, Gaspar, Hazel. Good morning to all of you. Hope you are doing wonderful on this Saturday after afternoon, morning. All right. Okay, okay. Morning from Cacaldi. Jerry from Cacaldi. Good to see you, my friend. Martin, Kerry. Good morning, I see you, I see you, I see you, each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. My God, I when I say you're in for a treat, I mean you are in for a treat. Like you are in for a treat like never ever before. Um, I've got some absolutely amazing stuff to cover on today's session. So let me make sure my, my, my sound is, yep, you're in my speaker. So the sound, is the sound good? That's what we want to hear. All right. Fantastic. 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 So today, ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope you had your coffees. Um, I hope you had your coffee. Because I certainly have got mine and I'm having mine. Um, so... Um, Right, a couple of tech things to set up. Ta -da. Can you see me? Can you see me, guys and girls? Can you see me? Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, okay. Listen, I don't know about you. I love this stuff. I love spending time with you. Um, I love these sessions. I love training. I love doing this stuff. I absolutely love it. Anyway, so what are we going to cover today? Right, guys and girls. We're going to cover today the four levels of teaching for the four levels of learning. I'm going to give you some truth, and I'm going to show you how number nine is the number of truth. I'm going to show you the only four things you need to do to build a successful business, whether you want to get to your first thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand a month, does not matter. Uh, I'm then going to talk about the overwhelmed sandwich, you know, like a big sandwich that you're trying to eat and you just can't fit it in your mouth. We'll talk about that. And I'm going to give you your uh, very own business system, okay? Because the reason that you're probably struggling right now is because you don't have a predictable system um, where you know how much you're going to make day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. So, and then right at the end, I'm going to give you an opportunity of a lifetime if we are a good fit. So if me and you are a good fit, so I can lead you into the financial promised land, I'll also let you know how you can take advantage of that as well. All right, sound good. Now, before I get started, can I just ask you guys and girls one question? One question. And that question is, would you rather I fluff you up this morning and tell you what you want to hear, or would you rather I give you some truth, which is going to help you? Which one would you rather? Would you rather fluff or truth? Come on, let me know, because we don't want to offend anyone. Fluff or truth? Please let me know. Fluff or truth? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little picture for my socials. There we go. Um, and I do this all the time. Social proof is the best. So not a bad session. All right. So all of you are saying truth. We want the truth, Stas. We want the truth. All right, guys, I hope you got thick skin. I hope you can take it because I'm going to give you the most amount of truth you've ever heard in your life. And I'm not even going to hold back, right? I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to give you the most amount of truth. And I'm going to show you... Um, 
I'm going to show you everything. Like everything you guys ever going to need, I'm going to show you. Um, I just need to, uh, if Katie, could you make yourself known? Could you just type something in the chat so that I can make your host somehow? I just need to make my assistant host. Uh, in fact, where is she? Uh, she's probably, oh, there you are. Uh, Mo, promote to, there you are. Okay, hopefully I've promoted you. Let me know if not. All right, guys and girls, let's get started. So who, like, if you are struggling, okay, right now in business, in, in, in anything, uh, let me just change my view to speaker uh, or immerse. No, we don't want that. Uh, see, I'm not even that techie, but it doesn't even matter. Um, all right. So, uh, cool. Right. So if you are struggling right now, it's because you are learning stuff that is not serving you. What do I mean? Well, let's cover the first thing is the four levels of teaching. And if there's four levels of teaching, then there must be four levels of learning. So what can anybody ask me or not ask me, answer me, what is the purpose of learning? What do you think is the purpose of learning? Please let me know in the chat. I want to keep this super interactive, super energetic. I'm going to give you everything I've got, but I need you to give me back what you guys have got as well. So what is the purpose of learning? All right, to gain skills, move forward, progress, gain insight, gain understanding, increase your knowledge, to acquire knowledge and skills. All right, okay, I'm loving this, I'm loving this, okay? Well, I can tell you, it's so funny that the government and the societal society, society program has programmed us to believe that. You see, we have been programmed from school that the purpose of learning is to know the right answer. And the purpose of learning is to watch a video, the, to, to listen to something, to read a book, to gain new skills, blah, 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 blah. But I can tell you that's absolutely false. Everything that you guys have said is false. And I'm going to prove it to you, okay? I told you I'm going to give you the truth today. Right. The purpose of learning, and I've got a brand new black marker for this. The purpose of, there's only one purpose. The only reason I ever try to learn something is for one reason and one reason only. And do you want to know what that word is? Mastery. Mastery. Like, think about it. The purpose of learning anything is to master something. Now you're going to say, well, Stas, what is mastery? Mastery is the ability to execute a task without using conscious resources. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Mastery is the ability to perform a task without using conscious resources. What does that mean? So I can have a chat with you right now on Zoom and tie my shoelace at the same time. I don't have to think about it because I can do it in my sleep. For those of you that play a musical instrument, you can just play the guitar here while you're talking to people. You haven't got to think about it because you have mastered it. Okay, you have mastered the thing you do. Okay, so that is the only purpose of learning, to master that skill, that subject. And I can tell you right now, who wants to know a shortcut to success? Put your, put your hand up or, you know, uh, give me a yes or me in the chat. Who wants to know a shortcut to success? Yes, you do. I can tell you that the number one shortcut to success is mastery. And I'm going <laughs> to, if it exists, it does exist. I'll tell you what. Each and every one of you have been fed a lie. Each and every one of you have been mis misinformed from society, from the people around you. And that's why you believe that the, the shortcut to success is finding a magic system that makes you all this money. Or the key to success is to, you know, oh, get on this new trend that's happening and that's going to make me a million. Oh, crypto. Ooh. I can tell you nothing can be further from the truth. So let's talk about the four levels of learning and the four levels of teaching. So we're talking about learning and teaching. Mastery. Mastery is you can drive a car without thinking about it for those of you that drive because you've mastered it. Okay. That's why you don't get overwhelmed. Oh, by the way, do you know when overwhelm happens? Overwhelm 
happens when you operate from a place of non-mastery, okay? So the only time I would get overwhelmed in a car is if I haven't mastered driving a car. Anyway, so that was for free. So let's look at the four levels of learning for the four levels of teaching. The lowest level of learning is tactics, okay? What are tactics, ladies and gentlemen? Tactics is what to do. So the reason you might be struggling right now is because all you've done in your life, in your entrepreneurial career, in your business, is you've been learning the what. Do this, create the Facebook page, try to run a Facebook ad, try to do this, do a YouTube video, send some traffic hit, like you're being told what to do, okay? You're being told what to do. But the problem is that is the lowest level of learning. Now, tactics work for some people, but not others. So if I bought Bitcoin three years ago, and I now would have been you know, very, very wealthy depending on how much I bought, that, that's a tactic. If I now go and try and teach you that same tactic, it ain't gonna work for you because the market's changed, the things are different now. So it ain't gonna work. So if you're struggling, this is the what to do. This is the what. Now, if you wanna make money, you're gonna struggle at this level. If you, all you ever learn is tactics, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle. So the next level is strategy. Strategy. What is strategy? Strategy is the is the why and the when you do the tactics okay so if you're here and you haven't got a strategy my friend you are in trouble okay so there's a very good saying it's something like um uh, tactics is the noise tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat and thank you terry's recommended a good book by called mastery by robert green so strategy is the next level of learning and teaching. So you have to learn the strategy of something before then you can apply the tactic. Because if I'm honest with you, tactics is just glorified admin work. It's glorified admin work. Anyone can do that. You don't need to have any sorts of skills to do this. Strategy is the next level of learning. It's the why and the when. Okay. So if I get in a car now and I start driving without a purpose, without a strategy to get to Edinburgh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in the car and do the thing. It's a tactic. I'm going to frustrate myself. I'm going to waste a bunch of energy and I'm not going to get anywhere. Before I ever get in the car, I need to know the strategy, the why and the when, the what road to take and why do I need to take it? You see? Now, the next level is principles. If I can spell this right. Principles, you know, and laws. Principles and laws. Uh, so this is the what governs the below, okay? So what do I mean? I've got a little um, thing here where I'm going to read out a couple of laws to you and I'm going to help you understand these laws. So everybody knows the law of gravity, right? Law of gravity, what goes up must come down. The law of, does the law of gravity work for everybody? Yes or no? Or does it just work for me and not you? Does the law of gravity work for everyone? Or does it just work for me? Let me know in the chat. All right. The law of gravity works for everybody. All right. Then we've got the law of polarity. What is the law of polarity? The law of polarity is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, this is a law. This isn't something that Stas made up, by the way. This is a law and laws and principles work for everyone. The law of advancement. The law of advancement states that before anything can go up, it must first come down. If you've ever seen a rocket go up in the sky, the first thing it does, it thrusts all its energy into the ground before it can go up. Before your bank account will go skyrocketing, it must first go down. What does that mean? You're going to have to make an investment. You're going to have to be bad at something before you can get good at it. That's the law of it. It's a law. It's you can't, you know, you can't get around it. <laughs> it is what it is. The law of energy. Everything is energy. Energy is neither created or destroyed. It just changes form. 
the law of inertia. An object at rest will remain at rest until acted upon by an outside force. The law of entropy. Anything left to itself tends to move more and more towards disorder. The law of momentum. An object in motion will continue in motion until it's acted upon by an outside force. These are laws, ladies and gentlemen. These are laws that we cannot change, okay? So laws work for everyone. Tactics do not. Strategies work for more people, but not. But laws and principles work for everyone. Do you know, want, to know, want to know what the highest level of teaching and learning is? The highest level of teaching and learning is F, how do I spell ethic? I can't even spell it. There we go. Ethics. I think it's an I, isn't it? Ethics. What is ethics? Ethics is your nature, your character, and your intention. What does that mean? Look, if you operate your business from a place of ethics, I can promise you that there's less than 500 people in the internet world that operate from the level of ethics. Everyone operates from a level of tactics. Every course you've ever bought, every magic system you've ever bought is a tactic, a strategy at best. They don't ever teach you the laws and principles. They certainly don't operate from a place of ethics. Let me show you. What is the nature? What is your character? What is your intention? Okay. My nature for each and one of my students, my clients is, where's my red pen? Oh, nearly dropped it. Good. My intention is um, clean. What does that mean? My character is that I cannot lie. Okay. Why? Because I have integrity. Have you ever heard that the, the, the the, the, the samurai sword people, they would rather die in honor than live in shame, okay? They would rather die in honor than live in shame. The way I run my business, I would rather die in honor than feed you crap that ain't gonna serve you. That's why I ask you, well, can I give you the truth? And this is the truth, okay? So I run my place from a place of ethics. What does that mean? My nature and my cat might is good. So I have got good intentions for you. I've got clean intentions for you. And I cannot lie. So I'm always going to give you the truth. I'm not going to give you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And in fact, if the stuff I'm telling you, you already know, you don't even need me. So every person you you listen to out there that tells you stuff that, oh, yeah, I've heard that before. That makes sense. If it makes sense to you, you would already be doing it. You wouldn't need that person. Is this making sense? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat. Now. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay, cool. So nature, my nature is good. My character is that I cannot lie. I'm not going to feed you BS. And my intention is clean. My intention is for each and every one of you to succeed. I, 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 there is enough money in the marketplace for everybody to make the money they want to make. Now let me demonstrate something to you. Every number in the number system has a meaning. And did you know that nine, the number nine, is the number of truth? So what does that mean? That means that, look, if I cannot lie, my character is that I don't lie. I cannot lie. Why? Because eventually the truth is going to get out. So if I feed you a lie, like, for example, I don't know, Snapchat is going to be the next big thing. Put all your marketing in Snapchat because I have a Snapchat course. That's BS. Um, the truth will get out. And eventually you're going to think, oh, well, Stas told me a lie six months ago, whatever it was. So what does that mean? That means that I might as well start with the truth because we're going to end up at the truth. If you cheat in a test, it always gets out. If athletes cheat uh, at the highest level, the truth always gets out. If you cheat on your partner, the truth will eventually get out. So why not start with the truth? Because we're all going to end up at the truth anyway. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how every number in the number system is, is has to answer to the number nine. So watch this. Uh, nine times one equals nine. Nine times two equals 18. Nine times three equals 27. Uh, nine times four equals, what is it, 36. Okay? Isn't it interesting, right? But look at this. That equals one plus eight equals nine. Two plus seven equals nine. 
three plus six equals nine. So when you divide it down to any single digit number, they all have to answer to the number nine, which is why nine is the number for truth. Now, let me demonstrate this maybe on three or four dates of birth. Please, whoever doesn't mind sharing, put your date of birth in the chat and I'm gonna show you how it all comes back to the truth. So put your date of birth in the chat. All right, so Alex, Alex is the first one. Um, uh, so I need the day, the month and the year. So Alex is 16 of the fourth, 71. Okay, watch this. One plus, so I'm gonna add all the numbers together. Uh, one plus six equals seven, plus four equals 11, plus eight equals 18, plus, um, uh, plus one equals 19. So that equals 19, right? One plus nine equals, what does it equal? One plus nine equals 10. 10 minus 19 equals nine. There's your number for truth, okay? So there's Alex's. Let's have a look who else we got. Annette, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just use more paper, it's okay. I've got plenty. Uh, Annette, where are you? Okay, second of the fifth, 67. Uh, two plus five equals seven. Uh, seven plus six equals 13. Um, um, uh, bu 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 equals, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, two plus five is equal seven, plus six equals 13, plus another seven equals 20, right? Two plus zero equals two, two minus 20 equals 18, one plus eight equals nine. Nine is the number of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all gonna end up at the truth. So I'm gonna start with the truth because I'm gonna end up at the truth. Um, is this blowing your mind, by the way? By the way, is this blowing your mind? Let's do some more. Like I've never asked Alex or Annette their date of birth before. Um, who else we got here? Uh, all right, Andrew, let's do you. Uh, eight of the 1264. Let's just draw a line under this. One plus eight equals nine, plus two equals 11, plus six equals 17. Uh, uh, 17 plus that equals 21. Two plus three, uh, sorry, two plus one equals three. I'm going ahead of myself. Three minus 21 equals, uh, what does that equal? 18, one plus eight equals nine. Is this blowing your mind or is this blowing your mind? Okay. Um, now, um, nine is the number of truth. Why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you this because I want you to know the truth, okay? Every single one of you. Um, and Terry, yeah, look, Terry, this is an example. I don't have any intentions to do anything with this stuff. I don't even remember who's is who. I'm telling you, I'm giving you a demonstration, all right? So thank you very much. For anyone else that wants a, a demonstration, we can do it later, but because of time, we will move on. Uh, but well, well spotted, Terry. Of course, look, that's, that's, ah, oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, listen, absolutely right. So anyway, nine is the number of truth. So what does that mean? That means you must give your clients, your customers the truth because you're gonna end up with the truth, okay? It's a law, it's a principle. We can't get around that, okay? Pam says, cool party trick. Uh, listen, it's my only party trick, right? Anyway, so now I'm going to talk to you about, well, in fact, let me ask you, all your entrepreneurial careers, who's been, which level have you all been learning from? Tactics, strategy, principles, or ethics? Which one? Let me know in the chat. What's been the level of learning that you've been doing all your life? Have you been learning the tactics? Have you been learning some strategy? Or have you been learning the, the, the principles and, you know, all right, so we've got strategy, we've got tactics, um, blah, blah, blah. We've got so far tactics and strategy, the bottom one, um, ethics in my coaching. So Martin, well done. Ethic, exactly. Everything starts with ethics. You know, I can't sit here or stand here and feed you crap. It, but there's so many people out there that do. All right. So there, if you are a coach, a mentor, a consultant, if you teach from 
tactics, you're going to struggle to make six figures. You might make six figures, but you're going to struggle. Here, you'll get into six figures. If you teach from here, you're going to be one of the sought after coaches, trainers, and mentors in the world. In the world. All right, let's keep going. So now I'm going to talk to you about the only four things you ever need to do in business to be successful. Like there's only four things. Every single business book you've ever, have ever read, every single business seminar you've ever attended um, is based on these four things. Because there's only four things you need to do in business. Okay. Number one is lead generation. Okay, so you've got to be able to generate leads. Number two is lead conversion. I can always, I always struggle to spell conversion live for some reason. Okay, that's number two. Number three is uh, customer. I think I've spelled this right. Ascension. What does that mean? That means they have to spend more money with you. That the spend has got to go up. And number four, customer retention. Retention? No, re, uh, I've really messed this up now. Retention. All right, that's it. There's only four things you can learn about business. Like there's no more, okay? There's absolutely no more. So who here, does anybody here earn 10 grand a month? I'm going to show you how we can scale your business to a million pound business um, in four moves. Anybody here earn 10 grand a month? Um, I mean, I guess you don't have to share it. It's personal or private or whatever. So, all right, we have a couple of people. We have a couple of I wishes. Okay, so let's imagine that your business um, generates 100 leads a month they convert at 10%. So this is the conversion rate. Uh, you sell a thousand pound product and you make 10 grand a month. Okay, so there's your revenue. So let's, let's create a little chart. So this is leads per month. This is your conversion rate. This is the price of what you sell. Uh, and this is the revenue for the month. Okay. Now, rent 10,000 might seem really good to you. Yeah, I, listen, when I first started making 10 grand, it was like, woohoo, because I used to earn like a grand, 1,500 pound a day job at Purple Parking. But I can tell you that in business, when you, it's not that much. Okay. 10 grand is not that much. So 100, 100 leads a month, you convert them at 10%. Um, uh, price is not a pound, the price is 1,000 pounds. You make, you're making 10,000 pounds a month. Now, if you're not making that, I'll, I'll do another demonstration. But look, all we, look, step one, lead generation. If we just do one thing and we generate you more leads, how do we generate you more leads? Uh, so we're going to double the amount of leads that you generate. We're still going to convert at 10%. We're still going to sell a thousand pounds. You've just doubled your business and you've done one thing. Now, how do you generate more leads? Okay, um, let me demonstrate. If I am standing on a street corner, handing out money, like if I'm standing on Oxford Street, handing out you know, notes of money, what's your first thought? Let me know in the chat. What's your first thought if I'm handing out money on the street corner, ladies and gentlemen, what is your first thought? Come on, what's your first thought? Be honest, I can take it, I can take it. Uh, uh, what's the catch? Are you for real? TV show? Uh, Stas is at it again, fake con. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> love it, love it, hey, keep it, keep it coming, come on. You must be rich. Well, yeah, anyway, yeah. Look, you're all on the right track. You're like, ooh, 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 what's the catch? Like, what a weirdo. Why is he handing out money? Now, so you don't trust me. You don't trust to take that money from me. Yeah, you get suspicious. Okay, now let's imagine I'm standing on the same corner on Oxford Street. You're riding your bicycle. It's a lovely day. And you fall over. Oh, you hit your head. 
you're bleeding, you're disorientated. Would you let me use your phone to call an ambulance, pull you to the side, give you some water and just kind of, you know, get you away from that situation? Would you do that? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat. Would you let me? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm freaking out. Loads of yes is coming in. Come on. Would you let me pull you to the side, call an ambulance and, and, and maybe give you a plaster or a bandage or whatever? Yes. Yes. Okay. Jerry, play along. Don't have a bicycle. You don't need to have a bicycle. It's a, it's a metaphorical situation. Okay. Now, what's the lesson? What's the lesson? As strangers, sorry, as kids, we are told, don't trust strangers. Don't do this with strangers. Don't do that with strangers. So what does that mean? We don't trust strangers to lead us into a pleasurable state. Okay, but we trust strangers to lead us away from pain. What does that mean? So in your marketing, when you're advertising out there, you're putting your lead magnets out there, you're doing your ads, all you talk about is the three-step system that made me a millionaire or the four steps to lose and get a six-pack and blah, blah. You're leading people into a pleasurable state and they don't trust you. Don't worry. They don't trust me either. Like they don't trust me either. So instead of saying leading people into pleasure, lead people away from pain. How do you do that? Avoid the four biggest mistakes entrepreneurs make that keep their business slow and painful. Oh, what are these four mistakes? You see, I'm leading people away from pain, not into pleasure. Avoid these seven foods unless you want fat to stick to you like glue. Avoid or... or, or the seven, the seven or the five signs to look out for in your marriage, unless you want to end up in a divorce court before Christmas. Do you see the difference there? Do you see the difference? And by the way, this is only for cold traffic. So if people have never heard of you, okay, then this is what you should be doing. Leading people away from pain, not into pleasure. And in fact, I got so excited um, at the beginning of this, for those of you that don't know who I am, by the way, and I'm really sorry, but probably a lot of you do, my name is Stas, and I'm the founder of clientandconsulting.com. Now, what do we do? We help people scale, sorry, we help people sell their knowledge, advice, and expertise online for a premium price. Now, just so you know what I'm doing, go and check out my website, clientsandconsulting.com. If you want to make 10 grand a month in 30 days or 10 grand a month, we can help you do that. If you want to make... 50 grand, um, where's, the, where's my name? There you go. We can help you do that. If you want to make 100 grand a month, we can also help you do that. If you want to become a millionaire, there you go. It's a bit, bit weird to see. We can also help you do that. So I actually should have shared that with you before. Um, but just so you know that I know what I'm talking about. This isn't something that I've just made up. This isn't something that I've just, you know, read in a book or seen at a seminar. This is stuff that I do day in, day out. Okay. So there we go. There's a brief introduction. Nice to meet you because I think we've got a lot of new faces on here. So for those of you that don't know who I am, uh, that's who I am. And I'm going to give you um, the links to my, my social channels as well. All right. So lead people away from pain, not into pleasure. You're going to make more leads. Everything else stays the same. You've just doubled your business. All right. What's step two? Lead conversion. Lead conversion. Uh, so if we're working with 200 leads, we're going to double our conversion rate. I'm going to tell you how in a second. We're still selling at a thousand pounds. Guess what? We are now making 40,000 big ones. Now you're getting into the juicy money. Now you're getting into half a million pounds a year money. And I've only done two things with you. Does anybody know? Let me know in the chat. How do you increase your conversions? How do you increase your conversions? Let me know in the chat. Please, let's keep this interactive. The energy is really high. I am loving this. Hopefully you are too. How do you increase your conversion? Come on. I want, I want as many people to participate. Look, don't be scared if you type the wrong answer or whatever. It doesn't matter. There's, there's, you know, I'm here to help each and every one of you. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we've got follow up, marketing, answer questions clients have by adding value to our customers. If I, 
<laughs> oh, man. Jerry, you crack me up, my friend. If I knew that, I would be rich. Martin says, have a great offer. Uh, upsell, engagement with prospects, better offer, initial freebies, improving your offering. Okay, good, good. Any more guesses? Oh, very solid guesses. Very solid. Very solid. Um, where's the training that I did recently? Very solid guesses. But I can tell you that you're, none of you are right. None of you are right. Okay. So anyway, I'll just draw it out again. Uh, provide value, add value, improve the customer quality, engage with people. All right, I'll do it here. Um, and then I, I, I will explain. So everything that you guys have just said comes down to the four P's. What are the four P's? Process. Pieces. Person. Product. Okay. I'll start with the person. Okay. Let's be very blunt because I love you guys. And like, let me ask you, this. do you feel that I genuinely care about each and every one of you? And I'm trying to help you. Like, do you actually feel that I want to help you? I'm not here on the Saturday morning pretending to help you. I'm actually trying to help you because I'm giving you the freaking truth. Like, and if you don't believe it, just say no, because it's okay. All right, cool. You don't believe it. So I'm going to be very blunt with you. The person, when you focus on the person. So if I'm focusing on me and, oh, everybody, good morning. I, my name is Stas and I'm so wonderful. And I have all these awards and I've made all this money and blah, blah, blah. And did you know I've been in marketing for 732 years? Did you know I've also been a business coach for the queen? Nobody gives a flying toss. Like, you see this award? Nobody cares. You see this award? Nobody gives two craps about this award. Like, none of you care about any of those awards. None of you care about the car I drive, you know, the money that we make. Let's keep it real. Who cares about anything that I have achieved? Who cares? None of you. Like, let's keep it real. None of you care about what I've achieved because it ain't going to do nothing for you. Okay? It's not about me. It's about you. That's why I, I even forgot to show you all that and tell you about all of that because it ain't important to me. What's important to me is helping you guys. So instead, like a lot of you people said, oh, well, you know, yeah, you've got to do this and you've got to, you're focusing on the person. And what happens is you are, you know, oh, well, you know, I've been in marketing 700 years. Did you know I used to be chief executive for uh, Coca-Cola? Who gives a flying toss who you've been a chief executive for? No one cares but you. The other thing is people try and sell their time. Like, oh, you're going to get so many hours of my time because you want my time, right? Yeah. Nobody wants your time. By the way, nobody wants my time either. None of you want my time. None of you, okay? Nobody cares about the person. Nobody. The process. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a seven-step process, and I'm going to give you a Trello board and a Slack board, and then I'm going to set you up with this amazing funnel and blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. The pieces. Oh, did you know I have got 17 modules? My content is 75 hours long. And we have four PDFs and two cheat sheets and nobody cares. <laughs> Just, nobody cares about that crap. They don't care about my stuff either, by the way. And the product, nobody cares about your product. Nobody cares about my product either. Nobody, nobody cares about my product. Do you know the only thing that they care about? Let me know. What is the only thing that people care about when it comes to buying anything from you? Please type that in the chat. What is it? Um, come on. What is it? Okay, here we go. What it can help them, the results, what it can do for me, how they feel or with them, uh, blah, blah. Yeah, whoa, 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 loving this. Yes, come on. 
Let's keep this interactive. Write this down somewhere and never forget about the payoff. What is the payoff? What is the payoff for working with you? What is the payoff for working with you? That's it. So how do you increase your conversions? You stop talking about this crap that nobody cares about and you start talking about the payoff that people do care about. That's it. Like one of our payoffs in our business is, look, I'll write it down for you so you can see it loud and clear. Six figure biz within 90 days. Okay, that's one. The second one is a five and multi five figure day. That's the payoff. You work with us, you will build a six figure business within 90 days or less. You work with us, you will have a five figure day not and, and a multi five figure day. I'm not talking about a year or a month, I'm talking about a day. That's the payoff. I don't ever talk about this crap because nobody cares about that. Like people want this. Okay. Now, that's how we increase conversion. So we're now at half a million by doing that. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to do customer ascension, which means we're going to offer a premium offer. So we're going to have a high ticket offer. A high ticket offer is something usually 5,000 and above. Um, so, from these 200 people, we've got 20%. So we've now, we're working with 40 people. So we've got 40 people, which let's say convert at 10%. So we get four sales at 10,000 pounds. So we've taken them from a thousand pound spend to 10,000 pound spend. Okay. We've just added another half a million, just shy of half a million to our business. We are at one million pounds and we've only done three things. Three things, ladies and gentlemen. So, because the where did I get this 40? Do you all follow where I got this 40 from? Because 20% of 200 is 40 people. We're not going to offer this 10 grand offer to everybody. We're only going to offer this 10 grand offer to the 40 people that bought this. Okay? So we're going to offer that 10 grand offer to these people. 10% are going to buy. I'm being very conservative. 10% is low, by the way. 10% is very low. Four people will buy. 10 grand, you've just doubled your business. Again, you're now at a million pounds. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do the last thing, which is customer retention. What's customer retention is you're going to create a membership offer. So something that they pay a monthly fee for. So uh, again, out of the 40 people, because we're only working... Let's keep it super conservative. 10% are going to buy. Uh, so you're going to get four sales at this time, a hundred pounds per month, which equals uh, 400 pounds per month or 4,800 pounds per annum. Okay. And you have a million pound business. That's all you got to do. That's it. Like four moves. Can you all remember four things you have to do in business? Like, I'm not talking about 40, I'm talking about four. Who can remember four things they can do? Let me know in the chat. Four things, four things. It ain't hard. Right. Oh, I'm gonna love the next one. You're gonna love the next one. Can you remember four things? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we go. Excellent. All right. So lead generation, lead conversion, customer ascension, customer retention. All right. Now, did you know that Mercedes Benz created the Maybach, which is their customer ascension, this thing here, because they were sick and tired of their premium customers going to Bentley Rolls Royce. So they thought we're going to create the Maybach. So People can stay with us. How many times, if you're a coach, consultant, service provider on this, on this class right now, or whether you're watching this on the replay, how many times have you seen a customer or a client work with you 
at the lower level and then go and join someone else's mastermind, someone else's program for 20 grand, 30 grand or more. And you've been pissed. Why? Because an offer you don't make is an offer they can't take. Okay. Hey, if you don't believe anyone will pay 10 grand to work with you, well, I can tell you that if you don't have a 10 grand offer, there definitely is no chance they can work with you. But if you make an offer of 10 grand today, put it in the marketplace, someone will eventually buy it. It might take you a month. It might take you a year, but someone will buy it because an offer you don't make is an offer they can't take. So stop your limiting belief getting in the way. All right. And you don't have to start with 10 grand. You can start with five grand. It doesn't matter. But trust me, high ticket offers attract a certain type of customer, a certain type of mentality customer as well. All right. So that's the only four things you need to do in business. Write them down. Customer generate leads, convert the leads, customer ascension, customer retention. All right. Whew. I'm having, and remember, nobody cares about the process pieces, personal product. They just care about the payoff. Work with us. You will build a six-figure business within 90 days. Or if you already have a six-figure business or you know, that you've reached that, you will have a five and a multi-five-figure day. Not month or year, day. That's the payoff with us. All right. Now, let's talk about, are you all having fun? Like, by the way, I'm loving this. Are you all having fun? Like, is everyone loving this Saturday morning session? Let me know in the chat. I want you to walk away from this session this morning feeling like you have just robbed me. I want you to feel like the police are going to knock on your door because you feel like you stole this information from me and I never charged you a penny. That's how I want you to feel. Woo. Right. That's why I said truth. I'm glad you guys want the truth and you don't want the fluff because nine is the number of truth. Anyway. Uh, now, what we're going to talk about is the overwhelm sandwich. Oh, boy. Who films overwhelmed in their business? Say overwhelm. Me, me, me. Who films overwhelmed in their business? Come on. Say me, me, me. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I've got magic system upon magic system. I've got email upon email. I click on every bloody thing and I don't have a clue what I'm doing and it's already 2021 and I started this in 20 or 1967 or whatever it is. All right. I'm going to show you exactly why you feel overwhelmed. All right. Oh, by the way, Hugh, the reason you feel overwhelmed with this is because you're learning. Okay. Think about it. When you go to the gym, if you have a good workout, your muscles are sore the next day. That means you had a good workout. If your brain is sore right now, good. I do not apologize for that because it means you guys are learning, okay? It's a good workout. If you come away from here fresh as a daisy, it means I haven't done my job. I haven't, I haven't helped you guys. Anyway, um, if you have a piece of paper there, then I want you to draw a circle. I want you to draw a circle like this. Now, please... Tell me, um, so each and every one of you, whoever wants to participate, all the things you're trying to do in business right now. Just don't put, you know, put like one thing, comma, another thing, comma, another thing, so on and so forth. Uh, so put it in like one message, but separated with a comma. All the things you're trying to do in business right now. Come on, throw them out to me. Give me your overwhelm machine gun and splatter all this stuff at me. Come on. I want to hear, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, okay. Graham's is just a star. Okay. We've got create list, lead generation, lead conversion, setting up business aside currently to deal with personal stuff, uh, get clients, come up with new ideas, uh, build website, build course, offer. All right. All right. This is good. Grow the global number one business coach academy, uh, getting started. Uh, content creation, sourcing eBay, listing, consulting on eBay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do, do, and, and do this exercise even now or at home or on the replay or whatever. Uh, what else we got? Okay. Uh, create passive income streams, studying core design business, um, learn software. Okay. Let's just email 
marketing. Uh, what else we got? Um, you know, software. You got you got to learn the software, right? Um, you then uh, what else? We've we got some other good ones. Uh, clients, got to get get clients. Uh, get clients. Then we've got the delivery because we've got to deliver on, on what we're selling. Uh, we've got websites. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's have four more. Uh, what else? What else did we have? We had some real good ones. Course. Uh, so course. We're building out a course. Um, innovate. Um, what else we got? Psychology system. Oh, tracking ads. Ads. Yeah, I can tell. If you're not making 10 grand a month, start, stop running those ads right now. <laughs> Seriously, stop running ads if you're not making 10 grand a month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, funnels. That's a good one. Funnels. Um, that'll do. Like, that's a lot. SEO. Okay, that'll do. All right. So draw a circle. Put all the things you're trying to do in business right now. And now it's probably how many years has it been and you still haven't made any progress? Okay. I'm going to explain exactly why. I'm going to draw a line to the end like this. If your circle looks like a pizza, you need help, my friends. So let's have a look. You've got this circle and you're focusing on your offer, software, clients, delivery, website, funnels, ads, course, email marketing, and podcast and clubhouse and oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I, I need to calculate for this. Like, believe it, I ain't that smart. Um, oh, that's quite handy. And let's do this in red so that you just really get the point here. 11, let's just round it off at 11%. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. What this means is you, it's that number nine again. Hey, nine is the number of truth. <laughs> that was unplanned, by the way. Anyway, um, 11. This means you are giving 11% focus to that thing. Have you ever met anyone in the world that has had any success giving 11% focus? Doesn't happen, does it? It doesn't happen. Like what happened when Michael Jordan tried to play baseball and he used to play basketball? He sucked. So he had two things in his circle of focus. He's doing 50-50, he sucked. Conor McGregor, if you know who Conor McGregor is, the MMA fighter, he was winning everything because the only thing that was in his circle was UFC. He then started adding all this crap, like whiskey, boxing, clothing, and he's lost every fight since then. So if those guys can't do it, what makes you think you and I can do it? We can't. Like, I'm sorry, this myth of, oh, I can multitask? You're just living in a lie, my friend. So you are given, like, can anybody succeed giving less than 100% focus and like mental brain capacity to any one thing? The answer is no. So. How do you do it? How do you do it? This is how you do it. You have your to-do list. If you have a to-do list, congratulations. So let's say it's, uh, I don't know, offers, ads, funnels, and so on and so forth, okay? Yeah, you can't split your attention. Um, <laughs> Lorna says, but I'm a man. <laughs> hey. I, that's why I need this even more, but listen, I hate to, I hate to break it to you ladies. You ladies are amazing, but when it comes to business, we can't multi, I know you like, you know, my wife, she can, she can cook, she can look after the kids and make my dinner and like, you know, do something with her, like seven things at once. But when it comes to this brain, brain, brain is, um, yeah, we, we can't multitask, <laughs> but yes, I agree. Women are much better at multitasking than men. We're useless, right? So the first thing I'm going to focus on is how do you know on the first thing to focus on? Well, it's what's going to make you the most amount of money. What's the priority? If you're running ads and you haven't even created your offer, my friend, like 
and no amount no amount of no amount of ads there's no secret template there's no magic system that is going to save a bad offer you can hire mark zuckerberg to run your ads if your offer sucks you ain't going to make any money so the first thing i would do out of all these is i would work on my offer okay so what i would do is i would take my offer i would put it into my circle of focus and I will give it 100% of my attention until it's done. Now, I don't care if that takes me a day, a week, a month, or a year in some cases. It ain't going to take you a year, but that's the only thing I'm going to focus on. And when that is done, and I'm happy with my offer, and it's tried and tested, that comes out of my circle of focus, and it goes on my done list. Then out of these, what's more important, ads or funnels? Well, probably the funnel, because if I run any traffic to it, I've got to make sure they're going down the right path. So I take funnels. I put funnels in my circle of focus. I give it 100% focus until it's done. When it's done, it comes out of the circle. And it's done. And then ads go in like i know this might seem like primary school stuff but this is the problem with people they overcomplicate stuff and it doesn't need to be and i promise you you will get more stuff done in the next month doing this than you would than you have done in the last year like does this make sense to everyone yes or no who's now going to implement this circle of focus all right good Good, good, good. All right, good, good. Me, 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 absolutely. All right, good. Stop trying to multitask, okay? And that leads me nicely onto the overwhelm sandwich. <laughs> Man, I'm having a blast this morning. All right, so what is the overwhelm sandwich? You see, when you get into business, people tell you, Stash, you've got to have a good offer. Oh, uh, offer. Then you've got to have a good funnel. Then you got to get good at sales. Then you got to get good at ads. Um, then uh, what else do you need? You got to get good on video or something like that. Uh, what else? So one, two, three, four, five. Let's do a couple more video. Then you have to get good at lead gen. Oh yeah, you got to generate leads. Otherwise, your business is going to sink. Um, what else? Um, what else? Anyway, that will do. Okay, that will do. So what happens is you end up buying, you know, you end up buying a course on offers, on funnels, on sales, and you end up buying a course on all of these. Um, let's let's keep it real. Because this, um, let's say you spend, I don't know, I don't know. Let's call this a thousand pounds funnels, a thousand pounds sales, two k because it sells ads, two k video 1k and lead gen i don't know 500 pounds so one two uh four six seven before you know it you've spent seven and a half thousand pounds and you've got all this video junk in your closet um and you're trying to do everything at once and it films overwhelming um let me demonstrate something who here can juggle more than three, three or more objects. Say, say I can juggle or something like that in the chat. Tell me who can juggle. Come on. And it must be someone that can juggle three or more things. <laughs> no, I cannot. Never tried. All right, you've never tried. All right. Well, you all have tried because you're all juggling. A good dropper. All right. All right. Here's all my here's all my stuff. Um, I'll tell you what. Because uh, I need to know. Uh, no, I'll, I'll do it with these things. All right. Here's all my stuff. I've got my offer. I've got my funnel, my sales, my ads. All right. I'm good to go, right? I've got all the things I need in business. Hang on. Right. Can I juggle one of them? Can I do that and look at the screen and talk to you? Yes. That's called mastery. Okay. I've mastered it. Okay. All right. Can I do that with two, two things? Yep. I can still 
talk to you and juggle two things because I've mastered juggling two things, right? All right, let's add a third. Can't do it. So instead of, where's it gone? Instead of learning how to juggle three things, you add a fourth thing to it, and this is you. This is you. Oh, this isn't working. Oh, my God, a year's gone by. I've spent seven and a half grand, and I just can't do this. Oh, Who can relate? Anyone can relate? Yeah? Stop trying to add more stuff to your sandwich before you've even mastered it. So this is what happens. Let's get a bit of lettuce in there. Lettuce. Ketchup, anyone like ketchup? I like ketchup. Ketchup's lovely. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's get a nice little bun. Get a lovely little bun. I'll tell you what bun I like. I like a brioche bun with some seeds. Lovely, lovely. And Jerry says seven and a half grand sounds a bit cheap. All right. And then you try and eat that, but it's too big for your mouth. It's too big for your brain. You can't handle it. And you're overwhelmed. And do you know when overwhelm happens? What did I say at the beginning when I started? You haven't mastered anything. Anything. You're not a master. You're, you're, you're jack of all trades, master of none. It's a real saying. I can talk to you about offers all day, every day. I can talk to you for the next day about offers. I can talk to you about funnels. I can talk to you about sales. I can talk to you about ads. I can teach you every single one of these things without any prior preparation. Why? Because I have mastered it. Because I have spent the time necessary to master those things. It's not because I'm clever. I'm not any cleverer than any one of you. Like, I'm not clever. Like I'm just hard working and, 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 and I do things until, until, and, until I get good at it. But you see, many of you, you're so married to the idea of 10 grand a month, first, your first thousand pounds a month or whatever, you go out there, you, you try something, it doesn't work. And then what you do is you, you end up telling yourself, oh, well, this doesn't work. But let me show you something, okay? Let me show you something. I'm not gonna spend, you know, a lot of time drawing it out because I did this the other day, but this is what happens. The fact is the fact. What is the fact? The fact is you got to learn some stuff, my friends, not just learn. You've got to master this stuff. Like you might have spent five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand over the last however many years on learning, but not mastering stuff. The facts are the facts, but let me tell you one thing. The facts don't matter if your attitude is right. Facts will give you a focus in your head. The focus in your head is a belief. Your belief is either faith or doubt. If you doubt yourself and all you are filled with is doubt, it gives a feeling in your heart of bad feelings. And bad feelings leads to anxiety. Anxiety leads to procrastination. Procrastination leads to nothing. Procrastination leads to being on every single Saturday school for the last year and not having made a dime because you've got a bad feeling because you've got a doubt in your mind that this ain't going to work. Well, instead, why don't you start focusing on your belief because faith and doubt are both belief, by the way. Focus your belief on how amazing will it be when I make my first thousand? How amazing will it be when I make my first 10,000? How amazing will it be when I make my first 100,000? How amazing will it be when I, when I quit my job? If that's what you want to do. That is going to produce a feeling in your heart of anticipation. And that is going to produce action in your body to do the stuff that's required. Okay? That's, that's a, a bonus little lesson for you for free. I'm not going to charge you for that. Um, that is for free, my friends. And where was I? So there's your overwhelm sandwich. There is your overwhelm sandwich, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you got to master this stuff. Um, the, and that's why mastery is the 
is the fast is the shortcut to anything you've ever designed all the time like it just is all right so we've done the overwhelm sandwich all right now let's talk about perspective um any question well we'll do we'll do questions at the end actually we'll do questions at the end all right so overwhelm sandwich go and try and eat that it's, it's just it ain't gonna happen all right next thing is um what does this represent please tell me in the chat what does this represent please tell me in the chat what does this represent money security all right so when you think about money what is your outlook what is your perspective on money is money hard to come by is money easy to come by do you you know what's your perspective on money what's your perspective on money what is your perspective on money like is it easy is it hard um do you struggle do you find it easy uh do you hate the rich and you know uh or want want you know to steal from the poor and be the robin hood or whatever all right it's hard work mode of interaction and commerce uh it's used easy to come by but not anymore <laughs> It's a tool. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, I can tell you that prosperity, success, prosperity is always the result of perspective. Okay. Perspective. Yeah. Look, absolutely. Couldn't agree more with you, Pam. Freedom and choices. Money is a good thing. Okay. Money is a good thing. Anybody that says, who here doesn't care about money? Who here doesn't care about money? Oh, good. No, but good, good, good. Because I was about to call you out on it. Good. Anyone that tells you they don't care about money is lying. Because if you don't care about money, why do you work 50 hours a week? If you don't care about money, like, why are you doing all this stuff? Anyway, money is always the perspective. And let me demonstrate to you. You've probably seen this before, but probably not in this way. Now, money, if you are employed, it's hard to come by why because you get paid a certain salary and you fulfill a task and you get some money in exchange for your time so here you earn a little bit of money and you have you know some time freedom because you only work nine to five or shift and you get plenty of time off and blah 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 but then what happens is who's heard the advice in their life is oh who's ever heard why don't you go and do that for yourself if you work as a plumber, if you work as a carpenter, if you work for somebody and you get good at it, oh, why don't you just go do that for yourself? <laughs> All right. Terrible advice, by the way. Terrible advice. So then what you do is you then go and become self-employed. So you buy yourself a job. And here you make a bit more money than this guy or girl, but you have less time because you're so busy working you haven't got time to enjoy it you're stressed you're overworked you can't go on holiday because if you go on holiday well no one's going to do your job for you because you're the only one that can do the job so if you think money is hard to come by um it's probably because you're down here okay um yeah employment is being paid for what someone else thinks is your worth exactly and no one is ever going to pay you what you what, what you're worth so self-employment, you get more money, but less time. Why would you want to be self-employed? I would honestly rather work a nine to five, come in, do the bare minimum, get paid a wage, but at least I'll have more time. Like I can have a job for free. Why would I want to buy a job? It doesn't make sense to me. So instead of these you know, guys and girls down here, you've never been told about having a business system oh what is a system yeah you'll never get rich digging someone else's ditch i like that what's a business system a business system is something that produces you both money and it gives you time okay so what you need to do is you need to disconnect 
your time from earning money. Like here, you're, you're directly connected to time versus money. Here, even more so. Here, you're not. I produce a piece of content. I go and do a speaking gig. I go and produce something, put it into the marketplace. That's then going to earn me money as long as it earns me money for, which is a long time and long enough. I have systems in place that earn me money, which is why money is never a problem. Like money is just not a problem. And it's all because of my perspective. Because my perspective on money is, well, if I just have a system that works for me, does all the heavy lifting, I can, you know, I can be good. All right. Now, once you've done this, you then go to this stage here, which is money multiplication. And this is where you invest. This is the investment side of things. So I invest in companies. I invest in crypto. I invest in the S&P 500. I put my money to work so that my money produces more money. Yeah, it's very simple. But instead, what people do is they employ it. They borrow some money. They save some money. They try to invest it, but they're not even got enough money to give them time that they want. So if you focus on having a system that produces you money and gives you time, and then you invest that money in multi, multi, uh, money multiplication methods, money will be very easy to come by for you, my friends. Very easy to come by. Like, it, it just is. And, and it really is simple. People overcomplicate it for no unnecessary reason. So now, how do you have a system? I want to talk to you about a system what, what we have, one of, one of our systems is we help people set up their own business systems. So if you're a coach, consultant, easy to get to six figures within 90 days. Like there's not even a thing. To have a five and a multi-five figure day, no, no, no question. But if you're just getting, like who here is just getting started and would like some kind of system to, so that they could live like a millionaire, um, on the way to becoming a millionaire, say yes or me. Who here would like to have a system where they can live like a millionaire on the way to becoming a millionaire? And if you don't, if, if, if not enough of you participate, I ain't even gonna tell you what it is. All right, so yes, all right, we've got a, a bunch of yeses. Woohoo, loving this, all right. In fact, let me take a quick picture of, because we've got a bunch of people on today. Boom. There we go. All right. So me, 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 me. All right. You want a system. Okay. If I have, oh, no, 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 no. First question. First question. First question. Um, no, yeah, no, the, the coaches and consultants are struggling because their offer sucks. They focus on the process, the pieces and the products rather than the payoff. That's the problem. Um, anyway, at, let me ask you a very, it's, 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 I love this question. At the rate at which you are saving money right now, how long will it take you to save a million pounds? Let me know in the chat. So at the rate you are saving money right now, how long will, <laughs> oh gosh, will it, <laughs> you guys, come on, you guys crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh we got never never million years oh never going backwards god knows i'll be dead first forever too long i don't have enough left uh not in this birth <laughs> you guys are funny all right okay okay thank you okay so the answer is save your money is the wrong advice anyway a million quid Okay, so if you save a hundred pounds per month, it will take you 833 years. I will probably be quite tired to enjoy my million once I've got there, if I'm even alive. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna save a thousand pounds per month. Okay, it's gonna take you 83 years. You'd probably be quite tired to enjoy the 83. Um, okay, Stas, 
Can anybody here save 10 grand a month? Because you get there a lot faster. 8.3 years. Woohoo! So by 2029, you can be a millionaire if you save 10 grand a month. But the problem is most of you aren't even making 10 grand a month to save 10 grand a month. So there must be another way, Stas. Hmm. Okay. If you invest a million quid at 6% per annum, which is actually quite low, if you ask me, because you can usually get between 8 to 10%, but let's just say 6% per annum, you are going to get £60,000 per year per annum without lifting a finger, passive income, which equates to five thousand pounds per month passive income so who wants five grand a month passive income um let me know in the chat because i'm going to show you exactly how you can get it and where you can get it today like no messing around today okay and all right we've got a bunch of bunch of yeses keep going keep going keep going keep going look i want every one of you to participate and the more you give me the more i give you yes come on all right, love it. Okay, yes, come on. Need the first, need the million first. No, Louise, you do not. So, are we all in agreement that if you have a million pounds and you invest it at six percent, the millionaire lifestyle is you can live five grand a month passive. So, does it stand to reason if I have something that produces me five grand a month passive income, I have like the, the millionaire formula on the way to becoming a million, which means they're worth the same thing, right? So instead of saving a million, all I need to do is make five grand a month. Ooh, okay. Where do I make five grand a month? So it, obviously you don't want to spend any of your million because if you spend any of your million, you're no longer a millionaire. You're a 999 and nine heir. So, but if you make five grand a month passive income, how do you do that? Well, you've got to have a system, okay? Now, luckily for you, I'm going to tell you about the system that we have. Uh, it's no five-step process, nothing like that. Oh, before I even get to it, okay, before I even get to that, it's not a course, it's not nothing like that. I'm not interested in that. I, uh, yeah, listen, who here can use their mouth to speak to people? Like, who here thinks uh, all right let me ask you a very before you answer that a very direct question do you think you can get over the next six to 12 months 400 people to try a free subscription to an online learning portal 400 people over the next year uh well let's let's just say over the next year so divided by that's one a day do you think you can get one person a day to, or two people a day to try a free subscription service, which is an online learning portal that is going to help them, you know, financially? One or two a day. Okay. A lot of you are saying, yes, Graham, let's get that limiting belief out of here. Doubtful. Okay. This doesn't have to be people, you know. You can go and meet new people. You can go and find these people on Facebook groups. You can, go and, you can go and make new friends. It's a free subscription. Guys, if you can't get somebody to take up a free subscription, you shouldn't even be in business. <laughs> like, stop right now. I'll save you the headache. All right. So all of you have just said, I, I can't even count the amount of yeses, that you can all get one or two people to take out a free subscription that's going to make their life better. Okay. Enter the Digital Business Academy. Created by yours truly to help people like you. Terry says, why would you get them to take a free subscription when you can get them to pay? Well, listen, it's a lot easier to get them to take a subscription and get them to pay after. Okay, so what is the Digital Business Academy? The Digital Business Academy is a monthly learning portal where people pay 30, including VAT, it's like 20, it's 27.99 plus the vodka and tonic. Uh, and the vodka, with the vodka and tonic, it comes to like 33 quid and 50 
six pence or something like that. I pay 72% commission on this. Why do I pay 72% commission? Because seven plus two equals nine and nine is the number of truth. Okay, because I want to be true to you. All right, so for every person you sign up, you get, watch this, I'm going to do this here, 20 pounds per month. 20 pounds per month for every person that you sign up. And by the way, there's a free 14 day trial. After that, they get, they start getting charged. Now this thing is amazing. Like I, I think it's amazing. I'd love for you to try it, but Hey, anyway, 20 pounds a month, you go and get 250 people. You're making 5,000 pounds a month without getting out of bed. Uh, Catherine says, why not 27 commission then? Because it's too low. I want to help you guys. I don't want you guys to do all the heavy lifting. Like this isn't a money earner for me, by the way. This is the biggest headache in my business, but I still do it because I want to have something to help people that are getting started. Okay. So if I give you 27% commission, it's just not interesting. It's not fun. Anyway, um, 20 pounds a month. Uh, 250 members, you make five grand a month without getting out of bed. Without getting out of bed. You live like a millionaire. Okay? On top of that, what I'm going to do is I've just introduced, recently introduced this. We have a challenge. Some of you may have been on it. Some of you may have not. It has been the most unbelievable experience for the people on it. It's a hundred quid. It's a hundred quid for a challenge to spend five days training with me, okay? What you then do is you then offer these 250 people to do the challenge. Now on that, I don't pay 72% commission. I pay 50% commission because a lot of operating costs. So you get 50 pounds for the challenge per member. If you get 250 people to do it, you make, somebody do the maths for me because I want to make sure you're awake. How much do you make if you get 250 pounds to do a 50 quid challenge? A 50 quid challenge for five days is a tenner a day, 10 pound a day. Thank you, Alan. Your maths is sharp. 12 and a half thousand pounds. It's not seven and a half, it's 12 and a half. Thank you. So, who would like the opportunity to earn five grand a month passive and every time they offer people a challenge, they can make an additional 12 and a half grand. So they're making 17 and a half thousand pounds and they don't even do any of the work. All you got to do is speak to, I don't know, 300, 400 people as quickly as you can so that they can sign up to a free subscription that will then charge them after 14 days. If 250 people stick to it, on average, you will make five grand a month passive. Like how much bandwidth would that free up in your mind knowing that you don't have to go to work and you know the money's just taken care of. And then you can offer them our challenge that we do and we give you 50% commission on that. And you get 250 people, you get 12 and a half grand. And I do all the work. Like I do all the work. Look at that. That's a very handsome sum. Very handsome sum. All right. So look, um, I'm going to tell you about this in a second, um, just because I've, I've blabbered on quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to tell you about this in a second, because I actually have got a special breakout session prepared for people that want to be part of this. Now, I can tell you right now that there is going to be an investment involved, okay? Because the stuff I teach works. I ain't going to give you fluff. This ain't going to be a course. This is going to be a program that's going to be to the point. Yes, that all these questions you're asking me about, how do you sell it? Well, how do you market it? I, I, I help you, okay? It's all in there, okay? It's all in there. Don't worry about that. Now, I want to show you before we 
have that session or in fact look as i said who before we before we do this last little bit who would like to join me in about 10 15 minutes um on the special breakout session that i'm going to do where you can get access to this model today if you I'm only going to give this to the people that say yes, because Katie, if you could please private message the people that say yes from Lorna over um, individually, send them, send them an individual link to us. This is going to be a separate Zoom link. It's going to be my Zoom link. Um, so if you don't answer, look, I just want you to know that I'm okay that if you don't want to do it, but the opportunity is here for you. Okay. As I said, if there will be an investment, but the stuff I teach works. Like, I ain't going to give you no crap. All right, uh, Katie. So that's gonna. So so just bear with. Katie is now going to send you the Zoom link over the next five ten minutes while I give you the million pound formula. Okay, and and if you don't want to do it, great. We're still friends. I still love you. We'll still go for a beer. It's okay. Like okay. I I just my job today this morning is to turn up and to shine. I want to give you the best opportunity that you have. Okay. All right. So, um, cool. So now, yeah. So keep, look, keep, keep, um, keep, um, uh, yeah. So Graham, that's fine. Just, just because, uh, because get it, get the link in and then Katie will, will help you sort that out after your appointment. So the million pound formula, did you know that making a million pounds is nothing more than moving zeros. Where was the latest one I did? Doo -doo -doo. The making a million pounds is nothing more than moving a few zeros I find the example I did the other day. And then I'm going to show you the million pound formula. Oh yeah, I think it was, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, cool. And keep like, keep typing in the chat if you do want to be part of that breakout session. Um, just type the words, I don't know, pick me or something like that. Pick me. If you do want to be part of that breakout session. Here we go. All right. Cool. Okay. So if you want to make a million pounds, this is what you got to do. If you have a 20 pound product, if you have a 20 pound product, you got to sell 50,000 copies of that product to make a million. Is that possible? Yeah, of course it's possible. But is it necessary? Like, is it necessary? That's the question. Like, is it necessary? I don't know. Okay, so why don't we get a bit clever and say, all right, Stas, that sounds good, but that's a lot of yeses. I've got to get 50,000 yeses from people in order to make my million. Well, did you know that all you gotta do is move a few zeros to get the same results? What do I mean? Well, why don't I do that? So if you wanna sell, then you should have a 200 pound product. You've only gotta sell 5,000 copies to make the same million. The numbers all stack up. You see, making a million comes down to nothing more than basic primary school maths, we have any math teachers here, you will understand this, and basic human psychology. What is human psychology? Human psychology is if, if you're too keen, they don't want you, okay? That's why I said to you, buy or don't buy it, join the session or don't join the session, it ain't makes no difference to me. Like it ain't gonna make a difference to where I live, where we go on holiday, what I eat, what I do, what time I wake up. But I know that it could make a difference to you. Like I have no, I have no desperation, okay? We're good, trust me. But I'm trying to help you guys. 
So 200 pound, 5,000 units. Okay, a 2,000 product, I've only got to get 500 yeses and I've made my million. If you don't want to make a million, just take a zero off. Ooh, now this is getting juicy. What about if I move, I said, let me move another zero, Stas. What? If I have a 20,000 pound program, I only got to sell 50 and I'm a millionaire. Sign me up. Sign me up. Um, okay. Now, if you want to go really, really high ticket and have a 200 gram, you're going to go to get a sell five. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Which one should you do? Which one should you do? What do you think? I'm curious. Which one should you do? I'm very curious to see which one you guys are going to pick. It's, it, it's, it's slightly a trick question. He, Pam, absolutely. <laughs> I'm still working on that, 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 that sum, but it's coming. It's coming. Last one, high offer, what you believe in, high ticket, one for a million. Hey, love it. Well, look, I'll be honest with you. The answer, in all honesty, is all of the above. All of them. All of them. Let me tell you why. Because it is seven times easier to have a customer ascend with you in the money that they spend once they've already spent something with you. So if I get somebody to buy something for 20 quid from me, the chances of them going and buying something for 200, 2000, and maybe 200 grand is always going to be seven times likelier than if they've never bought. Okay. Let me, let me demonstrate for you the only reason why people buy anything. Um, let me pick a demo. Who wants to be my volunteer? Somebody be my volunteer. Who wants to be a volunteer? Um, Right. Who wants to be my volunteer? Uh, all right, Terry, Terry, Terry Lee. Terry Lee, you're my volunteer. Can we, um, Katie, can we unmute Terry Lee? Do you, are you okay to speak, Terry? Um, I'm just gonna do a little exercise. Are you okay to speak? Can we unmute Terry? Yes, you are, okay. Uh, Katie, sorry, I know you're sending the links, but can you unmute Terry, please? Terry, are you there? Is your mic on? You're, you're going to be live at the Big Brother house. No swearing, please. I'm just joking, obviously. Um, have you unmuted? Oh, sorry. I think I can. I think I can do it. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Allowed to talk. There we go. Terry, can you unmute yourself? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Thank you, Katie. No, no, I've done it. Uh, so. Terry, I've just allowed you to speak. Uh, could you unmute or, or is there no connection? Does the computer say no? Does the computer say no? So talking loud, ask to unmute. No, okay, not, uh, doesn't quite seem to be working. All right, listen, what we'll do, don't worry. Terry, play along with me in the chat. If I give you one pound, Sorry, no, it's the other way around. If you give me one pound and I give you one pound and we do that 10 times a day, at the end of the day, how much will we have? At the end of the day, how much will we have? Play along in the chat with me. Um, hopefully you're still there. Play along in the chat. Uh, Terry, or if somebody, <laughs> Glenn says zero, Janice says 10 pound. No. All right. Something's happened to Terry. Don't worry. All right. So no, look, one pound. Thank you. David's got the right answer. Lorna has got the right, uh, one pound, right? So if we just keep exchanging one pound all day, every day, we're going to have, have a pound. Um, now what about if you give me a pound and I give you 10 pound, is that a good deal for any one of you? Let's everyone play. If you give me a pound and I give you 10 pounds, is that a good deal? Yeah, okay. I give you 10. Uh, sorry, you give me 10. I give you 100. It's a good deal. Yep. 
You give me a hundred, I give you a thousand. Yep. I, you give me a thousand, I give you 10,000. Is that a good deal? Yep. Uh, what about you give me 10,000, I give you a hundred thousand. Is that a good deal? Yep. Cool. Still, yeah. All right. Last one. Since we're in this mood of giving, you give me a hundred thousand and I give you a million. Oh, great deal, right? Okay. Now, final question on the deal side. You can only pick one deal. Which deal do you pick? You can only pick one deal. Which deal do you pick? You can only pick one deal. Which one do you pick? Uh, only one deal. Which deal are you guys picking? The deal I can afford. No, no, no. Forget, forget what you can afford. I'm just offering you a deal. Like, let's just imagine. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the last one. Thank you, Hugh. The hundred grand. Thank you, Martin. Why? Because it makes more sense. And also, this is why people buy. Because they feel like it. And the only way you get people to feel like buying is when it's worth more than the money to them. Like, why do you buy, you know, anything? Because it's worth more. The thing you're buying is worth more than the money. That's it. That's the only reason people buy. But the other reason is it makes the value, the payoff makes more sense when the numbers get higher. So I'm always making sure that my payoff for working with me is a minimum of a 10x return. And as long as I can demonstrate that I'm going to give you a 10x return, you're going to buy every day of the week. The price is never the problem. When the value is this big and the price is this big, they always buy. Okay. So that is the million pound formula. Um, coming back to this bit here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post something in here myself because we have got a hell of a lot of people on today, which is amazing to see. And thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully, hopefully you've, you've, you've been absolutely blown away with the knowledge and it's really helped, you, you know, in, in, in what you do and going to help you move forward. I want to give you some uh, stuff to do now before we have that breakout soon. Because, you know, there might be that don't want to join us and that's okay. So please connect with me and follow me on Instagram. Okay. Uh, so, oh, so follow me on Instagram because if we get cut off or you don't have to get the link for the breakout room or whatever, go and follow me on Instagram. You can send me a DM because I first check all my DMs as well. So go and do that right now. Go and follow me on Instagram. Um, yes, um, thank you, Terry. I'm coming to that. I also have an amazing Facebook community that I'm going to help you guys be a part of. And I also have, oh, my sound is breaking up, sorry. Uh, I also have a, a YouTube channel as well. So look, that's my gift to you. Um, but go and follow me on Instagram in case we get cut off so that you can then send me a DM so that you can then you know get in touch with me or whatever. You can also follow me on YouTube. Oh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sorry. Um, and you can also go join our Facebook community. Um, so that's just purely for connecting with me. So go and do that now. Um, I don't want you to miss this opportunity, okay? Uh, before we have the breakout session link. Now, Katie, could you just let me know, do you think we've had more than like 50 people want to join that breakout room? Um, do you think we've had more than 50 people? Um, I've just sent the link uh, for the YouTube, uh, Pamela. So it should be there. <laughs> Possibly I've lost count. What is a DM? A DM is a direct message. So send me a, a DM on Instagram. Um, but you've got to follow me on there first. All right. Okay. So, so we've had so many people um, join. Yep. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm starting to see people come through. Let me just take a picture so I know what the number is. Let me turn my camera off. I'm about to start the, um, I'm about to start 
the other breakout session um, with all of you. So, Cool. All right. So I'm about to start the breakout session. What I'm going to do. So look, before, before I start the breakout session, does anybody have a, a question, anything they want to do and anything they want to answer? Um, but yeah. Um, cool. 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 All right. What I'm going to do, Katie, can you just post that link to everyone for the breakout session? Cause I feel like we've had so many people that are, you know, wanting to take advantage. Thank you. Um, I, I didn't think it'll be that many. Um, as I said, I, you know, but cause you guys clearly want to know more, um, then yeah, get on board the, uh, breakout session. But for those of you, Hey, Chris, uh, you must clearly speak Russian or you've done that on Google translate. Uh, uh, sorry, that was just a bit of Russian lingo there. Um, anyway. Uh, join me in the breakout room. Um, the breakout room is absolutely, I'm not charging you for the breakout room. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about an opportunity that is available for you to take advantage of right now. Okay, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube and join the Facebook communities. And I will just give it a few minutes. Any questions? Uh, yeah, Mike, the link is, is just a little bit above. There's the link. Uh, oh, no, that's the wrong link. There you go. Thank you, Katie. Uh, Katie just sent the link, Mike, so the link's there. Does anybody have any questions before we start the breakout session? I want to make sure I give everything that you guys need before we end this. All right. All right, all right, all right. Link, please. Joe, uh, the link is in the description. Have you got the link, Joe? Uh, just, just trying to make sure everyone... Uh, thank you, Pam. You have a lovely weekend too. Uh, good to see you on here. Good to see you. Uh, uh, join the breakout session, Chris. Um, be happy to, to have a chat. Uh, are you on Zoom too? Yeah, the breakout session will be on Zoom. Uh, Mark says, Stas, is there one thing you'd say that makes people not succeed in internet marketing? Um, yeah, not mastering single components and trying to do too much at once. Honestly, that is the biggest thing. Honestly, that is the number one thing. Yeah, go to the link right now, guys and girls. Go to the link right now. Um, and I am going to start the link right now. Uh, where am I sending it? It's in the chat. By the way, the link is in the chat. If for whatever reason you guys don't get the link, please find me on Instagram. I've given you the link for my Instagram. Um, uh, go and find me on there and send me a DM. And then Katie can... Um, send you the link um she can she can send you the link on there or for those of you that are not on instagram email us uh support at uh da, 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 da. there you go email us uh support at clients and consulting.com um all right guys and girls it's been an absolute pleasure i've had an amazing time with you all thank you so much uh no the breakout room esther is going to be very short the breakout room probably 10 15 minutes so you'll be you'll be good for your appointment like i said 10 15 minutes guys and girls thank you so much i appreciate and love every one of you hopefully you can feel the love i'll see you in the breakout session take care see you in a moment see you on the other side Hello.